Hey guys, welcome to What Makeup. If you're new here, then hi, I am Bon, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to another video from What Makeup. In today's video, I am going to be talking about these. Babies, these are like five products that I have from the brand. I don't know if you guys have spotted this, but this brand it is the Natural uh, Sun Eco, which is I think uh, listed under the Face Shop. I'm going to obviously list down all the details of all the products that I have with me over here, and also link them for you in the description box below. But basically, I have been always in the lookout for. Uh, sunscreen related products or products that you can wear under the sun or as SPF and in the same like time when I've been exploring I kind of bumped into these from the brand and they don't have the name face shop written but they do have everything uh, in Korean and in a different language written at the back and all the five have uh, you know like their own variants and their own properties and we're going to talk all about that and I'm also going to tell you like if they are worth the money if you should be going out and spending getting all of them or maybe one of them or just a couple of them all of that so if you guys are ready then let's get started so firstly about all the variants that I have with me over here there are about five of them and they come in these five like colored caps and all of them have their own like properties in the way like they work under the sun they all are going to give you the SPF factor but basically they're all meant to be worn at like different times like one is maybe under the makeup one is a primer one is basically an aqua formulation so I'm going to get into all of those details but firstly when it comes to the packaging I really like it it's very clean it's very matte it is very fuss free you get about 50 ml of product for about 1600 rupees which is honestly not that bad in the range of if you want to invest in a good sunscreen I got these under discount because this brand had gone under kind of a 10 or 20 percent discount at the point so I think I got them for about 11 something for each of them but at the MRP is around 16 20 so it's not really a bad range in terms of the product that you get obviously 50 ml for the tube and it kind of lists what the main features of every uh, tube of this product is all of them have an SPF of 50 that is a common thing but in the way that they work and what exactly they do for your skin that is what is listed on the side of every like outside carton and the package that you get on the top so the first one that I want to talk about I'm not following a particular order in the way that I'm going to mention them I'm just going to jump into them one by one the first one is the no sun Oh, no shine hydrating sun cream. So again, this is again an SPF cream, but this is basically a hydrating cream, but it is not going to make you look dewy and have any kind of a shine or like that kind of that glowiness that a lot of people don't like. A lot of people prefer very, very matte kind of sunscreens and I think this is supposed to work like that and it also says over here that there is no white residue I actually don't think any of them have a white residue but this specifically mentions the fact that there is definitely no white residue it is also going to remove any excess oil so like I said it is going to work as a matte sunscreen and also it's going to give you a fresh look so in terms of the consistency it has a very very nice creamy texture and obviously there's no white cast it is not very heavy or greasy and if you really want to wear this maybe under your makeup or on days where you don't really have a lot of like you know heavy foundation or anything going on but you want a cream that gives you the spa factor i think this is great to wear for that so this one is the first one in the series that i have the second one is the no shine sun primer so this exclusively is listed and named as a primer because I think a lot of us look for specific sun products and SPF products that you can wear under your makeup and this is going to do that and in the outside packaging that is what is written that it is going to even cover up your pores so that's brilliant I think a pore filling sun cream is going to be great to be worn under makeup it also says that it's going to remove excess oil and it's going to even out your skin texture so I haven't tried wearing this under makeup but I have worn this on its own and it does have that pore filling kind of uh, you know effect it doesn't have any dimethicone in it but it just fills up your pores and especially in the center of your face where you have those pits kind of showing when you put your makeup on it's not going to do that and it has a different color also this is a slightly pinkish in color so it works as a nice primer and gives you a little bit of that bright like glowy finish and it's ex excellent to be worn under makeup if you have any specific product that 
will give you a kind of sun protection factor but also help you to keep your makeup on and also look fresh while you go on with your makeup products i think you can definitely reach out for this so the next one is the super perfect sun cream x and i don't think it lists or mentions anything exclusive about it but when i come to the packaging and what it said what it says it says it protects from fine dust it's going to give your skin protection from fine dust is going to protect from blue light and it's also going to tone up your skin so nothing very very i would say like out of the ordinary in terms of an spf cream for this but yeah there are a lot of people who are very very conscious about the blue light effect and if you guys don't know what blue light is it is basically the radiation that is emitted from any screen that you've been watching for a very long time whether it's your laptop whether it's your ipad your phone especially blue light is a very big factor that causes uh progressive skin aging and in the long run you might see very bad effects of blue light and there are a lot of creams that are being launched right now in the market that kind of say that they are going to give you the blue light protection so this is a great sunscreen for that and apart from that the consistency is again in the same line it is very very smooth it's very very like lightweight it's not greasy it's not heavy again no white cast none of them have a white cast and yeah this has a kind of a different smell than the others but it's very pleasant it's not something that is very obnoxious and very strong and if you happen to be someone who doesn't enjoy fragrance in their creams i think this will still be a very mild one for you to use so if you are sensitive and very conscious about the blue light effect and you want kind of protection from dust and if you're a lot of like spending time in the outdoors or in dusty areas i think this is a good great spf that you can go for So the next one that I have is meant for outdoor activity and that is what it says it says the super active sun cream so it lists out in the packaging itself that this is basically meant for outdoor activities it again protects from fine dust and it is tear free so which is great if you are someone who likes to and needs to wear sunscreen especially if you're swimming if you're playing like uh, you know any outdoor sports if you're playing tennis or badminton or any kind of outdoor activities whether that's cycling cycling or going for a bike ride i think a lot of times because of the heat and the sun you're going to start sweating and if you apply this cream around your eyes there are lots of sunscreen that really cause a lot of eye irritation and also make you tear up they are not very very like skin friendly and overall like uh very friendly for the eye area and it can get very irritating but this claims to be that it is going to be tear free so it's not going to cause any kind of irritation and again the consistency is beautiful i kind of love the consistency of all of these anyways no white cast whatsoever if you do apply this around your like swimsuit or anything that you're wearing shorts or biker shorts or anything you don't have to worry about going on with any additional like sunscreen or massaging it extra this is going to completely blend with your skin and yeah a great sunscreen to have for outdoor activities a lot of us have started stepping out right now especially in the mornings and the evenings and if you really want good spf protection under the sun and especially when you are out and about then you can definitely reach out for this the last one is actually the one that i love the most and it goes by the name super aqua sun cream and that basically means that this has a lot of water like base uh, that is formulated inside it and which basically what does is it is going to give you a cooling effect that's what is written on the back of the packaging as well it is going to work as a moisturizing balm which is all that i need right now in pregnancy with my dry skin going like out of control i need everything moisturizing and also again it has no white residue i have been really reaching out for creams at this point that are very very hydrating because like i keep mentioning i have dry skin but especially right now my skin has gone to a point that it's so dry that if i kind of like skip applying my regular moisturizer in the morning or in the night you can literally see like the patchiness on my skin so that is the level of dryness and also because of the heat and the temperatures that are going on right now i love anything that is cooling on the skin and this does that again for the consistency just for the sake of the video i'm going to show you obviously this is a very very lightweight this has again a very different smell but nothing that is very strong or obnoxious it's very lightweight it has actually kind of a watery smell to it 
but it's not greasy at all and while being moisturizing as well at the back of my hand and I've applied this on my face as well I never feel it's moisturizing or hydrating to a point that I want to just like wipe it off or I want to apply like a less amount of it I actually go with a lot of product of this on my arms on my neck on my face and I'm very comfortable with it so if you are looking for a good aqua or a water-based sunscreen that is going to give you a full protection of sun factor sun protection factor 50 and also is very very cooling and hydrating on the skin so definitely you can check this one out from natural eco sun natural sun eco I said the name wrong so that was all from me for this video for the brand National Sun Eco and for all the five SPF products that they've launched very very recently. I in fact like all of them. They all kind of serve a different purpose for different needs and it's up to you for you to choose for when you want which one. I obviously went on and bought every like all the five of them because obviously I wanted to review them but I also kind of reach out for them for the specific purposes though I'm not really an outdoor person at this point but for the times when I want to do my makeup I can reach out for the primer one or for the times when I just want my skin to feel hydrated and moisturizing I can just go for the aqua like base one but you do you obviously I'm going to list down all the details in the description box below and you guys can have a look check them out go for all five of them or go for the specific one that really suits your needs and purpose and with that that's a wrap for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to thumbs it up if you are new to my channel and want to watch more videos from me and what makeup then make sure you subscribe and also don't forget to hit the notifications bell because you don't want to miss any of my weekly uploads i'm going to see you guys next week have a great week ahead take care stay safe bye